Okay, so a beautiful morning here at the Asprey. Here, so we did a bit of a different video today. We're having a chat. <laughs> We're going to have a chat <laughs> about the Open. So it's Open Week, our favourite week of the year, Pierce. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because it's our Open, okay? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Open this year is at Royal Liverpool, Hoy Lake, which is northwest of England, and it's a fantastic golf course. Yeah, good track. It hasn't been there for uh, eight years, 2006. 2006. Quite a memorable, memorable year when Tiger won his 11th major, and he won... A uh, pretty good score pace, wasn't it? Yeah, 18 under. I mean, 18 under par. That's ridiculous for an Open Championship, for a major championship, and they've done some changes this year to hopefully, uh, hopefully combat against that. But yeah, it was a, it was a great event, Andy. I went there and um, and watched the majority of the week, and uh, did a lot of video footage on the practice days, and that, that, that was actually I actually managed to get Tiger Woods hitting a driver and a three wood off the one hole, just doing a bit of practice, but. As we know, when it came to the actual tournament, he didn't use them. Yes. So he actually figured out what his best strategy was. Well, that's it's four irons off the tee. I think four iron was his most used club off yeah. the tee. He hit some, obviously, some two irons as well. But I, I remember him at the time as well, maybe on the first two days, getting a little bit of stick off the commentator, saying, well, can he keep this up? You know, can he keep laying short when these guys he was playing with were hitting it over 100 yards past him on some holes, and he was having to hit in, and he was hitting four iron, four iron. Mm. But, obviously, it paid off, didn't it? It did pay it off. I mean, I mean a... to, shoot an eight, to shoot 18 under par with really hitting no drivers, it's yeah. just, I mean, you know, his, his iron play there must have been so, Crazy. so solid, Crazy. especially when he's going with so, so long, you know, so many long irons to the green yeah. as well, Pierce. I think Steve Williams said that, you know, he didn't, he hit about three below average shots, you know, that, that was it. You know, every, everything else was really solid. Same as our game, though, isn't it, that, really? Exactly the same. <laughs> It's easy when you're hitting four hours, isn't it? That's why. No, but it just shows you that he was, you know, if there was a bunker at 280, he made sure he just wasn't going to get near yeah. it. So if he'd have hit his two iron, his one iron, I'm not sure whether he had two or one iron, he, he may well have still got it at 280 yards because it was very, it was such a hot day. I remember yeah, yeah. getting quite burnt the one day. Um, it, it, it was so hot and the, the golf ball was, uh, sorry, the, the golf course was very fast. It was bouncing a lot. Yeah. He just made sure, kind of, we, we talk about taking the ego out of it almost. He, he didn't, he didn't need to hit the 350, 380 yard drives. He hit the 250 yard four irons and yeah. left himself maybe a four iron into the green still, but you know what? The rest is history. Definitely. So I think the, the, the golf course itself was, that year it was quite, I remember seeing it, it was very brown and burnt mm. out. Yeah. It would be very dry over here in the UK, which was, which was nice for a change. Real hot year, yeah. Um, but then obviously Tiger there, his game plan, that was the key thing, he had a game plan, he stuck to it. Yeah. Irrespective of what anyone else was doing, he thought, right, this is my game plan. Throw the ego out the window. You know, and, and with the golf course, like these Lynx golf courses, these pot bunkers, Pierce, that are on the fairway, if you're in them, it's, it's almost like a guaranteed bogey some of the time, because you cannot advance it forward, you have to almost play sidewards. So Tiger thought, well, rather than attack the golf course from a driving or off the tee, he thought, well, I'm going to play up short and just take these bunkers out of play. So, you know, almost guaranteed that he wasn't going to drop a shot by going in the bunker and leave himself a, an iron, even, even though it was going to be a longer one, Pierce, he was so confident of his, his ball striking that week that he knew he was going to sort of pull the shots off, really. And you, you got, you've got tee shots that are running up to 80 yards, so you can pitch it in the middle of the fairway, and if it's running 80 yards, you know, it, it, it could easily end up in the rough, it could easily end up in a pot bunk. You often see them on the telly, they'll hit a shot, they love it, and they get down there in a pot bunk, yeah. and they're going, hang on a bit, Where's, how's that happened? Tiger, yeah. as you said, took that out of the equation. So. And you can hit good shots, as you mentioned there, you think you hit a good shot on the line and you can be punished. But it's doing the numbers first yeah. and oh, that's what he'd done very well. That was, uh, was, uh, he had a strategy, had a game plan and he stuck to it. And yeah. That's, that's why he won the 11th major, was it, at the time? 11th, something like yeah. That, something like 11th major. So, superb. I mean, you know the golf course this year, they've lengthened it a little bit, I think just over 300 yards, I think it is, 7,300 yards. Um, we've been having a slightly it's been a nice summer here, but it's been a slightly wetter summer as well. We've had a little bit more rain, so I'm thinking that the... I haven't seen it yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the rough is a, a bit thicker. Yeah, it and will be. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a little bit more lush, a little bit harder to get out of. So it's going to be an interesting week. Yeah, I so, think the challenges this week that I think it's going to fa be faced, obviously the pot bunkers, they're still mm -hmm. going to be there. So it's going to suit somebody who can be pretty accurate. Yeah. And who's going to maybe have played these open courses before who's got the experience and, and understands that they need to have this game plan yeah. in order to in order to win really yeah. so we've got the, the the driving off the tee we've got um, as you mentioned being it's so thick in the rough I think because it will be so lush avoiding the uh, avoiding that rough is yeah, going to be key to, this week so with that said Andy who's going to win who's going to win okay I think um, 
somebody who can, who's going to strike the golf ball well, somebody who's going to be pretty accurate off the tee. Um, my top pick, okay, Pierce, my top pick, I, I, may, even, I may even have a bet on this as well. Me yet, I don't even know. He's going to be Matt Kuchar. Oh, okay. Matt Kuchar. I think, yeah, again, yeah, pretty yeah. accurate off the tee. Not the longest, but again, doesn't need to be yeah, this yeah. week. Um, it's not that long of a golf course, but mm -hmm. uh, someone who's accurate off the tee. Can I have three? No, just the one. Okay. I mean, look, I've, I've thought about this the other day, and I think, well, someone like Stenson doesn't hit a lot of drivers anyway. So he can be easily hit, you know, be hitting one irons or two irons, four irons off the tee maybe, and easily hit the green with his four or five irons, if it's similar to what Tiger did. Rose is playing well, Justin Rose is playing really well. But I'm going for America as well, I'm going Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson. I think Johnson. he's played pretty good in the Open Championship. He has, yeah. He's getting better at playing majors. He's got to win one Sunday. And, and he, you know, he had a real good chance a few years ago. Um, I, I think he's. I think he's. He's going to be yeah. well up there. So I'm going to go DJ. That's a good. I think that's a good. Good one. I mean, D uh, Dustin obviously hits the ball a mile. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he can probably hit sort of three iron as far as some of the guys can at their driver. So, yeah. that could play into his hands. Very this week. relaxed as well. Very calm person. And then hopefully that patience for him. It'll, it'll, it'll come through. Mm, I'd like to see him do. Okay, good tip there. We'll see. Matt Kuchar, Dustin Johnson. What's your pick? Post those yeah, down yeah, below. Post them down below. Uh, okay. Right. So. Open week, hope you're all excited about it. We're actually there tomorrow doing some filming. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be there walking around, so if you are there, then yeah, yeah. please come and say hello. It'll be great to meet you guys. Um, and also, guys, we're actually doing a special on meandmygolf.com of lots of tips that, that the players are going to be faced with this week in terms of bunker play, short yeah. game, irons, you know, long lines, ball striking. There's lots of things that we're going. So go to meandmygolf.com and you'll see the series of videos there that will hopefully help you play some of those shots as well. So be sure to check that out. Yeah, well, it's, it's unfortunate. We were nearly there for, I mean, we, we're going to be there for, the, for tomorrow, but we were nearly there for the week. One of our students, Aaron Rye, who's only 19 years of age, um, he went through the regional qualifying and he's gone through the, the final qualifying. Final qualifying, only 120 people playing for three spots. Yeah. And he finished fourth. Yeah. So he, uh, we missed out by one shot. missed out by one shot. Margins are so close, but so it's a shame that we weren't there. But maybe look out for Aaron. Maybe we're saying he's going to win next year. Yeah, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay, um, guys. Also, we've got the performance day as, and, as well, Andy. Yeah. So we're doing a. Uh, we, we ran a performance day in May now. Tremendous success. We weren't sure we were able to get another one in because of our time schedule, um, but we have got one on Sunday, the third of August. So go to the website again. Have a look at the website. Click the uh, in the description below. Um, we we'll get to you to we. we on the day we train with you for four hours and then we bring you to this golf course here and you yes. get to play 18 holes and this time you'll be playing with us. Yes. So there's only We're gonna be play. six people in the day and me and Andy, maybe it's gonna be my team versus Andy. You know who's gonna win that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously if you're interested in that, click the link below and have a look. Then you've got it. Okay, okay guys, so enjoy, enjoy the, the week. open week. If we if we are there, to, well if you are there tomorrow, come and say hello, we'd yeah. love to see you. And we'll be definitely looking and keeping an eye out for our picks, but we'd love to hear who you think is going to win and the reasons why, so post those below. And we will see you tomorrow for the challenge, mm -hmm. Challenge Tuesday. Thanks for watching. So many times people are trying to go back and through in a straight line, it has to move in from the target line and around. So it's a really good point there, but that's the, the biggest difference between cricket and golf is definitely that rotation, rotation element. So, have we got